In today's video, we want to talk about the game of baseball itself. Baseball is not a difficult game to learn and is more readily learned by playing the game than sitting in the classroom. However, if you really are brand new to the game, a basic understanding of the setup and the rules of baseball are important. Baseball is played on a diamond-shaped field, and it's called a field, not a pitch or a court. I suppose it's a field because in the early days, players would look for any open field to play. We'll use this game board to show you how the game is played out. Notice the diamond shape extending from home plate down both foul lines all the way to the end of the field. Home plate, the foul lines, all the way to the end of the field. This portion of the field is called the infield. This is the outfield. The game is played between these two lines, which are called foul lines. The infield is divided into four equal sections with a line running from what is called home plate to first base, to second base, to third base, and back home again. The object of the game is to score more runs than your opponent in a given amount of time, and that time is regulated not by a clock, but by what are called innings. We'll get to that in a moment. Interestingly enough, baseball is one of the few games where you can only score when your team is on offense. Unlike football, you can only score when your team is on offense. Baseball is played with nine players on each side. It starts with the pitcher, similar to the bowler in cricket. The pitcher puts the ball in play by throwing to the catcher. The catcher takes his position behind home plate and usually wears lots of protective gear. There is a first baseman. There's a second baseman. There's a third baseman. There's what's called a shortstop. There are three outfielders and they're des designated by facing from home plate, facing the field from home plate. So this is the left fielder, this is the center fielder, and this is the right fielder. I chose to use chess pieces to lay out the game because I want you to remember baseball, like chess, is a game of strategy. It's a physical game, but it really is a thinking person's game. When these players are on the field, the players on the other team are up to bat or on offense. Each man steps up to home plate with a stick, commonly called a bat. It's the pitcher's job to throw the ball and the batter's job to hit the ball. If he hits the ball safely, such as between the fielders or over their heads, he runs to first base. If he does not hit the ball safely, he's given an out. Each side gets three outs each time the team comes to bat. Each time both teams complete their time at bat, it's called one inning. The game at the Major League level consists of nine innings, while in Little League it's six innings. At the end of nine innings, the team with the most runs wins the game. If the game is tied, they continue to play extra innings until one team is ahead at the end of a complete inning. Those are the basics of the game of baseball. In an upcoming video, we'll discuss even more of how the game is played. Until then, I'm Bob Brill, and baseball is a wonderful game.